All right, folks, Tommy Cowett here on the lawn with Growing Green here on this beautiful, nice winter day. And, you know, winter is a good time to look at trees because you can often see the canopy of the trees and really do some good inspections of what's going on. But have you ever noticed some oak trees and even beech trees will hang on to their leaves all winter long? Particularly in this case, the young ones in this parking lot here in Oak Ridge. Quite a few of them. Now this is uh, known as marcescens when they hang on to their leaves like this. And it's sometimes they say it's an adaptive quality by the tree. Uh, it's protecting itself maybe from frost injury or it may be holding on to these leaves as a way to keep that organic matter for later in the spring uh, when it really needs to use it for uh, you know for for uh, actual uh, nutrients let me show you these large unusual puff balls that were found in this tree that's another thing I wanted to point out this really strange looking gall but uh, also these trees have held these leaves and uh, it's pretty bizarre you don't see that often you hear that rustling in the wind so you know one somebody postulated that it might be trying to protect itself from frost damage also heard that as this tree was approaching the time to drop the leaves normally in the fall that uh, it might have got hit with an early frost which stopped this little uh, enzyme from being produced that actually helps the leaf slough off in the fall after coloring. But also, I want to get and discuss this crazy little gall that we see here. Okay, folks, so what this, this is, this gall, it's an oak apple gall, and it's actually all over this tree. There you can see some's attached. Now what it's, it, how, what causes this is a wasp. A wasp will have laid eggs here and this attaches itself to the tree. Now inside this ball is a single larva of a wasp. And that will hatch in the spring. You can see the puff ball. And um, you know, it completes its life cycle in this ball. And the growth of that is caused by a wasp that has infected this tree. Now, there's another, there's a, actually a malady called Tifrina. I've always suggested that that's what it was to me. I'd never heard the ecological explanation for this, for these trees and why they don't, you know, lose their leaves in the fall. Uh, and I, I believe now more in the ecological uh, some of the ecological explanations for this but uh, Tofrina is a disease it's actually a pathogen it's a fungus that causes the uh, the leaves to not slough off in the fall but anyway that's kind of interesting thought I'd share that with you this is uh, a common occurrence with oaks and beech trees so don't get worried it's nothing wrong with it the tree's gonna leaf out in the spring you know and it is protecting some of these new fresh buds this is all real healthy they're gonna come you know a lot of folks think you know around a park like this the soil might be kind of poor we at growing green take care of these fields and I can tell you that's very heavy compacted clay soil and you know to get more nutrients maybe the tree is asking or it's saying hey I'm gonna hang on to this nutrient here not that the park doesn't fertilize them uh, they do it's just that the soil could be poor and the tree wants to do it so there's a number of explanations but the thing to take home from this is don't worry this is not a serious issue the galls are not gonna hurt that tree at all it's a wasp and it's probably a good pollinator as well. So Tommy Cowett signing out from Growing Green. Need any help with your property, with your green life, give us a call. 336-854-7999 or go to growinggreen.com. All right, Tommy signing out. Have a great one. Bye.